This is question number 21. The vertices of, a, of the triangle shown on the grid are A prime 3 minus 1, B prime 1 minus 1, C prime 3 minus 1. Uh, so the grid is uh, here. I've put it in another page so that we can be able to have enough space. Uh, so the triangle ABC is the image of triangle ABC under a transformation whose matrix is 0, 1, 1, minus 2. Uh, so our triangle, this is A prime, B prime, and C prime, uh, B prime and C prime. So it is the image of ABC, uh, triangle ABC. Uh, find the coordinates of triangle ABC, AB and C. Now, we have been given the transformation matrix, uh, and we have been given the image of... Uh, the, the coordinates of the image so the matrix that can be formed using this image this uh, coordinates are 3 minus 3 uh, 1 minus 1 and 3 minus 1 like that so from there we need to form a matrix that would be that would give us the coordinates of triangle ABC so we say when you multiply this matrix 0 uh, uh, we can still use uh, this matrix so we can say if we take the matrix of the triangle ABC we would say uh, we can say ABC uh, and uh, DEF so those are the we can say this is uh, our A our B C uh, this should give us uh, this matrix here now so if you multiply the matrix with this uh, with this matrix of the ABC, that is the object, it will give us 3 minus 1, 1 minus 1, and, uh, and uh, we have uh, 3 minus 3, that is uh, minus 1, that's correct. So uh, now what remains is uh, we take, uh, uh, we multiply this matrix, so 0 times A is 0 plus 1 times D is D. So we get our D. Uh, this is 0 times B is 0. And we multiply 1 by E, we get E. Uh, we get 0 times C. We get that here, yeah, there we get F. Uh, so we are through with the first row. 1 times A is A, plus minus 2 times D. That would be, let us expand this. Uh, so we have this is uh, this is E and this is F. Uh, so we say D time, uh, that is 1 times A is A plus my, minus 2 times D. That will give us A minus 2 uh, D. Uh, this is 1 times B minus 2 times F. This will give us B minus 2 E. And uh, we have 1 times C. And minus 2 times F that will give us uh, C minus 2 F so that is a matrix that we we'll get so you can remove this so when this is equivalent to the matrix which we have here so this is 3 uh, 1 3 uh, we have minus uh, 3 this is a uh, is supposed to be minus 3 not minus 1 uh, this is minus 3 what we have here so this is minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 now what, when we say that uh, when we equate matrices this matrix is equal to that the corresponding elements are equal so this means that T is equal to 3 E is equal to 1 and F is equal to 3 that will help us to get the other unknowns that is a b and c so we can say d is equals to 3 e is equals to 1 uh, f is equals to 3 uh, now if we um, uh, the second row we have been given a minus 2 d is equals to minus 3 and we already know d is 3 so this will give us a uh, minus 2 times 3 is 6 is equals to minus 3. We take 6 to the other side. We have A is equals to. It becomes minus 6 becomes positive once it crosses the equal sign. So 
6 minus 3, that will give us 3. Uh, the other one is, uh, is uh, B minus 2E is equals to, this is equals to minus 1. But we already know E is 1, so B minus 2 is equals to minus 1. Therefore, we have B is equals to, we keep minus 2 across the equal sign, becomes positive. So 2 minus 1, that will give us 1. Finally, we have C uh, minus 2F, this is equals to this, is equals to minus 1. And we already know F is 3. F is 3 up there. So C minus, uh, this is 2 times 3, that is 6, is equals to minus 1. So we take minus 6 across the equal sign. We have C is equals to 6 minus 1. Uh, that will give us 5. So we now have our A, our matrix A. Uh, we, we have seen A is 3. Uh, let's use uh, that. Uh, so we have A is equal to, so we can form our matrix A is 3. Uh, so we have A, uh, B, C, uh, D, E, F is equal to, we already have our A, our A is 3, our B is 1, our C is 5, our D is uh, 3, our E is 1, and our F is 3. So that is a matrix. Actually, we can now say this is A, uh, B, and C. Now that we have our matrix there, we get the coordinates of A. Uh, we get the coordinates of A. So coordinates of A, 3, 3. Uh, coordinates of B, uh, 1, 1. And coordinates of C, uh, 5, uh, 3. Uh, so those are, the, those are the coordinates of our triangle. Uh, a, B, C, uh, and uh, we already have the, its image under this tra the transformation matrix, this one. We go to part B of the question. Triangle A, B, C, double prime is an image of triangle A, B, C under the transformation matrix uh, minus 2, 0, 0, minus 2. Determine the coordinates of A, B, C, and C double prime. So to get that, we take this matrix and uh, we multiply by the matrix that is formed by A, B, C, uh, which is here. We have the coordinate, it is here. So this is uh, 3, 1, 3, and uh, then we have minus 3, minus 1, minus 1, like that. Uh, this is equals to, you multiply the matrix, minus 2 times 3, and 0 times minus 3, that will give us minus 6. Uh, minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. 0 times minus 1 is 0. So that other one is minus 2. Uh, minus 2 times uh, 3, that is minus 6. 0 times minus 1, that will give us minus 6. The other row, 0 times 3, uh, minus 1 times minus, uh, minus 3, that will give us 3. Minus 1. And this other one will give us 1. And this other one will give us uh, 1. Uh, so those are the, these are the, this is the matrix. Uh, we can say this is A double prime. Uh, let's put that double prime. This is B double prime. And this is our C double prime. So the coordinates, because we are uh, the A, B, C, we are supposed to determine the coordinates of A uh, of A, B, C, double prime. So A, double prime, the coordinates minus 6 and uh, minus 6, 3. Uh, we close the bracket. Our B, uh, double prime, uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, it is minus 2, 1, uh, minus 2, 1. And we have C, double prime, which is minus 6 and 1. So that is, uh, this, these are the coordinates, so we have answered that. Part C of the question, on the same grid provided, draw triangles A, B, C and A, B, C double prime. You get two marks. So we go to our grid. I have already inserted the, the points that we need to draw the two triangles. So we start with uh, A, B, C. So this is 
uh, the point is 3, 3. Uh, we have that is our A. We have uh, the B is 1, 1. So that's where we have our B. Uh, C is 5, 3. 5, 3 is here. So this is where we have our C. Use a ruler and you join uh, the two points. So you have uh, that is, you join A and B. Uh, you join A and C and you join uh, B and C so that is using your ruler so that is the triangle A, B, C the other one is uh, we have uh, uh, A, B, C double prime uh, we have uh, this is uh, our A double prime is minus 6 minus 6, 3 minus 6, 3 is that point so that is our A double prime uh, B is uh, minus 2, 1 minus 2 and 1 so this is our b our c is minus 6 and 1 minus 6 and 1 so this is our c this is double prime this is double prime i uh, use a ruler to join the the, the the three points so we have our a b we have our a c and we have our our b c so these are the triangles that uh, uh, you are supposed to come up with and by doing that you'll be able to get two marks so let's go back to the question and see what is required from the part d of the question we are told that uh, determine a single matrix that maps uh, a single matrix that maps a b c onto a b c double prime so to be able to do that uh, we have the first mat. So let's say this is our. So this is our triangle. So it is transformed by the first matrix. Uh, so this is the first matrix. We start with the first matrix. Uh, 0, 1, uh, 1, minus 2, uh, followed by the second one, which is uh, uh, minus 2, 0, uh, and it have 0, minus 1. So if you multiply these two matrix, then you'll be able to to get the a single matrix that maps A B C onto uh, A B C double prime. So you multiply, this will give you two times zero is zero, zero times zero is zero. So the first element is zero, uh, then minus two times one that will give you minus two, zero times minus zero times minus two is zero, so we have minus two. Uh, we have 0 times 0 is 0 uh, we have uh, 1 minus 1 times 1 that will give you minus 1 and uh, this uh, uh, we have uh, 0 times 1 is 0 minus 1 times minus 2 uh, times minus 2 that will give you positive 2 so this is a matrix that would map ABC onto ABC prime so that's how you do that question and uh, if you get to that point, then you should be able to score 10 marks.